Have you ever been on holiday and taken loads of pictures only to come home and your SD card's broken and you've lost a lot? Well, one way you can solve this problem is with a Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro. It sounds really expensive, because it is, but if you're anything like me, then you might actually have everything at home that you need to make your own custom solution. Hello everyone, Adam here from CRT. Today we're taking a look at the Little Backup Box, a bash cell script that runs on a Raspberry Pi and allows you to do automatic photo backup. I set this up before I went to Spain a few weeks ago and found it actually worked really well. It was simple to set up and simple to use. So I would highly suggest using this if you're going on holiday anytime soon and want to have some sort of backup for your photos so you're not just relying on that SD card. Firstly, you'll need a Raspberry Pi. I used a Model 3B because that's what I already had, but others should work pretty much the same. An SD card for your camera, an SD card reader, a battery pack or a wall plug with a micro SB, you know, something to power the Raspberry Pi, a larger storage device such as a thumb drive that's equal or larger to your SD card for you to back up your photos onto. And you might also need a short USB extension cable, depending on how you plan to access your USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. I hacked apart a longer cable and just to make it a bit more compact. It's a bit messy, but it worked. So now you've got all that shit together, what you need to do is head over to the Raspberry Pi website, get your Raspberry an image and write that Raspberry an image to the SD card. If you want to access it over SSH, so without using a monitor or keyboard attached directly to the Raspberry Pi, then make sure you add a file to the root of the Raspberry Pi directory SD card called SSH and make sure it has no file extension. Pop the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and boot it up. Plug in an Ethernet cable if you need to. Access your router so you can identify the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. With the username Pi and password Raspberry, access your Pi via an SSH client such as PuTTY or Bitvice. At this point, you can configure the Raspberry Pi in any way you want. Now that we have the Raspberry Pi set up just how you need it, you literally need a single command. Reboot the Raspberry Pi when you're prompted to. So now we've got our little backup box ready to back up. So how do you actually use it? Well, you plug in power and then you plug in your main storage device, the one you're backing up to, and then your SD card, the one you're backing up from. Then you just wait until it's powered off again. It's that simple. It'll boot up, do the copy and then turn off. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you use multiple SD cards, you'll notice that each SD card has a separate ID so it has a separate folder and you know which images came from which SD card. If you wish to use multiple backup devices for multiple SD cards, then just mark which ones go with which, maybe write them down on a piece of paper that you carry with you and manage them that way. At this point, I want to stress that you shouldn't delete the images off the SD card. The whole point of this is to have two copies, one on the storage device, USB thumb drive, etc., and one copy on the SD card. That way, if either one fails, which there's a chance of, then you've still got a copy on the other device. It does copy raw images and JPEGs and everything like that. In fact, I think it's everything that's of an image file type. So you're pretty much safe no matter what you're shooting in. So there you have it, a compact, portable, simple photo backup solution to take with you when you're camping, on holiday, or just out and about. It's easy to set up and you might already have everything you need lying around. If you want any more information, there are links down in the video description. If you found the video helpful, give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this one, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. This has been CRT.